Yeah, if you do the math, Pat and Dina, that means it's been more than 11 years now since Provident Hospital had ambulance service. It was February 2011 when Cook County Health decided to do away with ambulance service as it scaled back operations and laid off staff because of budget issues. At the time, it put more pressure on other hospitals in the city, namely University of Chicago Medical Center, which is just over a mile away. Well, today, Cook County officials say opening ambulance service is now part of a progression to expand medical care at Provident Hospital. Much of the funding, they say, coming from the Affordable Care Act and federal pandemic funds. And one big change from 2011 to now that allows more people to have access is, and to have a stronger financial model is the creation of the Affordable Care Act. That was not in effect in 2011. It is now. You've seen much more uh, ability to have um, individuals have coverage, which makes bringing more more resources to the system viable long term financially. And so I would definitely credit those resources and being able to make the model more financial now than it was in 2011. When your loved one is experiencing a massive heart attack, they deserve to receive treatment within, not outside the community. When your loved one is bleeding because of an accident or an act of violence, they deserve to receive treatment within, not outside the community. And when your loved one is going into labor while in the community, they deserve to give birth within, not outside the community. Healthcare is a right, and we at Cook County recognize that right. Just in the last year, Provident Hospital's budget has expanded by $8 million. That included expanding ER services as well as dialysis, both inpatient and outpatient. Ambulance service at Provident Hospital begins again tomorrow morning. For now, that is the latest Live in the Loop. Sean Lewis, WGN News.